So we actually see from <clears throat> Endeavor where we see how he arranged a quirk marriage between his family and the Himura family, which is Re, knowing of how we saw the story, how they arranged that quirk marriage because Endeavor wants a child with part his quirk and part of Reen's quirk, knowing of the fact that she doesn't agree to it, but he forced a means he actually signed a family where we knew that he is actually one that <clears throat> child to surpass all might in which when we first saw the firstborn son Toya which we knew that it was Dobby who is in the headquarters knowing of the fact that he's still recovering from his battle against Endeavor knowing that none of the League members have arrived but now we knew that he's continued to his training with his ice powers but knowingly how he is not actually is strong enough to surpass all might but it actually turns out that he continues to have the child which we see Fuyumi have actually is born but she didn't have the quirk necessary to surpass all might then he is furious that he continues to be the number one hero which we see him now has Natsu but he doesn't have the combination yet in which as time goes on as he still have his jealousy towards All Might as the number two hero until one day he finally has it in the form of Todoroki in which we knew how Shoto became the perfect child that he wants in which he isolated him from his siblings knowing that Toya is actually is became jealous of Shoto knowing of how he wanted to surpass All Might and Shoto as well but we can tell how he continued to train by himself in secret while Endeavor saw the burns on his body which he continues to train as which he began to smack Re blaming her for not stopping Toya which we knew how his anger towards her led to the mental breakdown of Re pouring hot water onto Shoto's left side of his face causing that scar to actually appear which landed her into the mental hospital knowing of how he were to blame for his family to be like to be this in which to Toya has now went away from home as he became Dobby knowing of how his family told him to put aside his differences and his burden is not just his own but the fact that he has no choice but to fight Toya knowing of how he must put that all behind him which none of this actually matters with titles or who become the best hero which it doesn't matter because right now he do one day that he will battle Toya his own son which we see Hawks and Bastionis arrive 
which Reed actually apologized for Dobby's behavior, in which they were actually in shock. But the reason they came is the fact that they want to know all about One for All, which the villain All for One is actually out there. Despite of the fact that the Liberation Front members are still missing, as well as the inmates of Tartaros and the six other prison are still in the loose. But we see Bakugo being restrained as he headed back to the hospital room, which All Might told everyone to leave knowing that Isuku had been regained consciousness. So we knew what's going to happen next. So the Toroki family history has now revealed, which we see how Dobby became who he actually is, the way that it all because of Endeavor's pride, which led to what he has done to his family, in which we knew that there was a lot of hate and regret along with Endeavor's <clears throat> darkness that actually happened. But we're going to see what's going to happen on the next episode next weekend when Isuku meets with the previous realtors of One for All. So anyway, like this video, subscribe for more, and comment or waiting about the episode you guys can also follow me on twitter instagram tumblr and my facebook page and twitch until then this is anime guys running here saying sign out laters and be safe